Hi, this is John Barton. Um, most of you know me as a case maker. Right now I'm going to show you a little experiment on uh, my theory on how difficult it is to actually use the ghost ball in practice. Um, I'm going to put this on, uh, on AZ and on uh, YouTube so you can see it. But basically this is my theory on why ghost ball is uh, easy to diagram, easy to speak about, but in reality it's actually difficult to use consistently. So um, here's my experiment. Uh, I'm going to do this at my desk and I'll explain it. I'm going to put the camera down, but I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get this done in under, under a minute or two, okay? So here we go. Okay, so what I have here on my desk is I have a ghost ball trainer, okay? So you can see this right here. This is a perfect two and a quarter inches. Uh, where it meets is perfectly where the ghost ball contact patch would be. And uh, as you can see, the circles are represented as the um, centers of the ghost ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark one dot to, uh, to show the ghost ball center. So I'm going to go approximately in the center right there. Okay, and you can see where it is. So what I've done is, and I'll tell you what, I, I, I already messed up, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the dot here in black instead. Okay? So that's our original ghost ball dot right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a Q-Site training ball. Okay? And as you can see, everything's marked on here. So I'm going to try to place this ball exactly on this dot as closely as I can possibly get it. All right, so now it's exactly on the dot or as close as I think I can get it right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to mark dots all the way around this ball at approximately the ghost ball position. So if I take my little ghost ball trainer and I put it over here, that would be, here I'll move it this way, okay, one time. If I put a dot right there right now, that would be where the ghost ball would be away from the center of the object ball, okay? But, since I'm not allowed to use the ghost ball trainer while I'm playing pool, I can only rely on my own judgment, my own perception. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mark, I'm going to try to see a phantom ball, and I'm going to try to mark a dot where I think it's going to be, and then we're going to measure. Now, if I'm right, the distance between our dots should be two and a quarter inches, 2.25 inches. So here we go. All right. One moment. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna see how close I can get to imagining the ball where I where I think it should be. Okay, now here I am going all the way around the ball and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see from my experience if I were to place a ghost ball here, where would the center be? How close am I going to get? And see, I have the luxury of sitting at my desk to do this experiment. So let's see how I did, okay? I'm not sure if you can see these red dots here, but now we're gonna measure them. Now we're gonna take our ruler here and we're gonna measure how far away we were from the dot. So two and a quarter inches on this ruler is right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mark that um, in black so you can see it. Okay, so two and a quarter on here is right here. This line. Okay? So let's see how we did. Okay, right there I'm off uh, by almost a quarter inch. Okay? Right there I'm off by a full quarter inch. 
Right there, I'm off by more than a quarter inch. Right there, I'm off by almost half an inch. Right here, I'm off by a half an inch, or a quarter inch. Right here, I'm a lot closer. Okay, it looks like about an eighth of an inch. Right here, I'm off by a quarter inch. Right here, I'm off by uh, a little bit less than a quarter inch. Right here, I'm close, about an eighth of an inch. Right here, wow, that's the closest one right there. So I'm uh, almost dead on, okay? Right here, I'm off, uh, I'm under by about, a quarter, by about an eighth of an inch. Now let's do, let's take it this way, okay? Now we're gonna take it, we're gonna put this right at the center. Okay, I'm gonna take my ball and put it right on there. Now we're gonna go all the way around the position here, we're gonna go move the ball around and you're gonna see where we're at. So this dot here, nowhere close. There we're inside the circle, okay? So we're a little close. That one's almost dead on. On the outer edge of the circle. Okay, on the outer edge of the circle. Okay, now keep in mind, nowhere close. 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 Oh, there we go, with the inner edge of the circle. And again, back to where we started on the inner edge of the circle. So, you can see that I think that it's very difficult to imagine a phantom ball and then imagine the exact center of where that ball would be touching the cloth and then keep a hold of that while you walk back to your shot or while you get down on your shot. You know? So, the deal is, is that ghost ball, ghost ball is Easy to diagram, you know. Anybody can draw two circles and put and put a, a line through them and say this is what you should do to aim at pool. However, when you get down the pool table and you're trying to use this this system or this method of aiming, it's very difficult to actually truly see that perfect point. And on AZ Billiards, uh, you know, even the the uh, everybody says you have to be precise, super precise in pool. Well, if that's true, this is imprecise. Ghost ball is imprecise. It is not a good method to use to play pool if you really value high precision. All right, now I'm not saying that any other method is much, much better or not. I, I personally believe that, the, that uh, CTE is better, um, but that's a much more difficult system to learn to use because it's not easily diagrammed. It's pretty easy to use on the table once you once somebody shows it to you, um, but it's not easy to diagram and it's not easy to explain. Ghost ball is easy for me. Ghost ball is super easy. I understand it. I understand the concept. What I don't understand, or what I'm not able to do, is I'm not able to perceive a dot at exactly two and a quarter inches away from the center of the object ball consistently every time and I don't think anybody else is either so if anybody wants to repeat this experiment just like I did it and prove me wrong feel free you know you saw what I did it's simple tools sharpie ruler ball that's it you don't even need the little ghost ball trainer I just made that up on my laser so thank you very much take care talk to you later